you gonna kill all the bluegills off or what? <laughs> no, nothing. I don't even see any bluegills or anything. See anything? What's that? I oh, know. I'm always teasing. Apparently they don't like a mosquito.
Oh! Man, I just... I thought I was videoing. I caught some big bluegills. Just caught some nice big ones. Big gills. See if I can't get another one. Well, another, another one anyway. Caught two real big ones. It's really long side here. So I'm working a, uh, it's a, it's a, oh, there he is. A zebra mosquito. Uh, a zebra mosquito fly. I'm in the fly ride. Ooh, baby. He's probably a half a pound, this one. The other ones are about a pound. That's a good gill. You should come over here. It's a lot of them. I'll show you the fly uh, later. But this how you catch bluegills, big ones, big ones. They're good eating too. I mean, they're good eating bluegills. You can, you can use just a plain old. Uh, uh, what do you call it? Rod two, you know. Oh, did you see that? He tried to take it. Come on. Suck it up. There he is. You. No ice. Yeah. It's a good one. I'm telling you, man. Woo. Man, we should be packing these. Nice big bluegills. They must be spawning, you know, on beds. Golly. I get some, uh, they're coming to feed, so that's cool. When it, oh, look at that. Woo, another one, man. Telling you, <laughs> I love catching them on a fly rod. <laughs> yeah, they're in pretty close. Man, we would have had a bunch of them so far to eat. Barbecue grill. Telling you, one, one after another. That one's not too big. That's what I was saying earlier. You take a kid wants to learn how to fly fish. You just bring them. And I, maybe not too many people fish for brim. I don't know, or whatever you want to call them. Sunfish, pumpkin seeds. You know, but when you find them stacked up. You know, it's just, it's really fun with a fly rod. And they love taking stuff off the top of the water. Oh, I missed him. Shoot. Oh, yeah, I missed that fish. Let that fly sink just a little bit. See if I can't get him on a second round here. 
I'm doing little tugs, just a little tiny tug, you know, and then watch the line. Oh, missed him again. Dark garnet. <sighs> There's big ones take pretty fast and hard, you know. Just a little strip. Let it sit a little bit. Just see they see that movement, you know. Just tease them a little bit. Come on, fish. Less, huh? Let's see. And if you can see that white line right there, I'm watching that little tip right at the very end. And if this fish takes it, You'll see that thing jolt just a little bit forward. I don't know if you can see it with the with the GoPro or not. But you see that little front end twitch on it. I might be out of the out of the spawn area where they were spawning. Could be back in here where I was. That's why I said once you start finding a pack, you have a whole pack of them. turn around and I'll, I'll, I'll fish back air I'll probably pick up more the bigger ones let's see Spot right in between there. Let's see. Let's flick around this way. See if we can't pick one up there. It must be a nice sandy flat out here. Maybe there's more fish, more bigger fish back here. I don't know. You, oh, I missed him. Dag gone it. Dag gone it. Feel him on there. Just watching that tippet. Right, right at the tip of my fly rod. If you can see my fly line in the water, I'm looking at it, and you just see a subtle drag like it, just a subtle movement of it. A little bit of. I don't want him to swallow it. And like when you're trout fishing. And just figure that thing's moving in the water when the water's moving in the stream you really got to focus on that unless you use an indicator and I don't I don't use an indicator I, to me that's like just like fishing with a ball or you know
There he, oh shoot. You see it start moving to the left a little bit? He had it, could have been a smaller one and he was just grabbing the, the, the fly feathers, not swallow, you know, taking the hook. It, he, he grabbed the wings or something like that, a small one and drag it. The big ones just grab it and you see them, you see them right on the end of it. And sometimes they suck it up, you don't even know it. You just feel the weight of them on there when you go to jerk it. And that sets the hook, you know. Oh, do you see that? You see that? I hope I hope you you see that line when it moves like that. When the fly line just goes by itself, you know, starts taking off. And I'm holding my rod really low. I should be holding it up in the air a little bit higher. I'm just holding it low to the water because it's so windy. There he is. Oh, did you see that? See that line just moved by itself? They must be stacked up in here on you know, spawning beds. And then they see, you know. See, we can't get a good one. Just a little twitch. Told you, now you're doing something. Woohoo! Told you that would work, didn't I? Yeah. <laughs> it's got like a. What? It has like a stinger hook, you know, on the on the on the back of it. Mm. So if they hit it short, they're still. That would just be a really good. Lore. Cool. Nice crappy. They like it all bent up. Yeah. Same. Yeah, well you weren't catching anything, so I would do it the way I tell you. <laughs> can't, can't cast it back out there again. Yeah, I'll just keep fishing. Yeah, you should be doing good. You'll start catching fish. Do what I tell you. You should catch them. I don't want you to come here and not catch them. We can pull fish in all day long like that. Every, well, all day. I, I usually catch them all, all the time, all day long. Like that. So. Pretty good. And we're just off the we're just off the embankment. Ain't even going for the big ones. I can't wait to get, get out there and do some flounder fishing. I'll whack them things. I'll whack them buggers left and right. Chuck it. Chuck it over here. That's where I was catching the bigger ones over here. <laughs> well, you got a little bit of wind, but that's all right. You don't have to, you don't have to cast far. It's like a little pocket right in here. It's pretty decent. Huh? He's picking it up. Then he picking it up. Chuck it out a little bit further. We caught the crappy. Well, you know, out in that distance anyway. Yeah, there you go. You should get one there. So it sink a little bit. Might grab it on drop.
that you? Huh? Don't pull too hard. Finesse them a little bit, yeah? Are they, are they doing it when you round it in? Yeah. That's nice crappy. Oh, that's for everybody. They all got kayaks. Yeah, well, we got the boat, so we could have came here tonight. Plopped her in. It's got a nice boat ramp. There you go. Get him. Cool. Get him. Get him. Get him. Oh, nice swirl. Nice. Glad you're standing there. Huh? There. <laughs> these people get my hands fishing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Woohoo, good one. Alright, you ready? Yep. We should have been stacking these. I caught we'll six or six or seven of them. We gotta come in the boat. Yeah, we'll get some. We'll catch them like crazy in here. This has always been good for crappies. Always been a good spot for crappies and big giant bluegills. So well, the boat ramp looks pretty decent. So, all right, everybody, now I'm out of here. Catch y'all later. See you.